So let's see. This here is a GTX 1060 six gigabyte. And this here is a GTX 1060 three gigabyte. Remember the ire it caused when they launched? See, people were pretty upset because, I mean, it carried the 1060 name, but it came with half the memory, but it didn't stop there. It even came across with less CUDA cores as well. Enough that most people agreed that it really should have been his its own numbered product. Something like, at the time, something maybe like a 1050 Ti or even a 1060 LE. Something to really differentiate it. Well, it looks like the boys over at AMD has done something similar to this, or well, to be more specific, like they did with the RX 560 a while back. So according to Anantech, who caught it on the AMD China's website, so it's very likely that this could be an, a China only part, maybe for their OEMs over there, but it's still listed on the website under the RX 580 header. So according to that post, AMD has slipped in a new RX 580, but this time featuring a cool 2048 stream processors. Wait, it's the same amount as the RX 570, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. But it, but it does come in at RX 580 speeds. So yay, but not really. I mean, it at least does carry eight gigabytes of GDDR5 and a 256 bit bus that the 580 features. I mean, I guess I have to argue with some of the commentators over there at Anantech that this would likely have been better off being named something like the RX 575. Because carrying the RX 580 2048 SP title it's just a bit odd. And at this point, if anyone over there is looking for reviews, I'm pretty sure we all know what they're gonna be finding. Full bore RX 580 reviews. The real problem is gonna be if they start shipping this outside of the China market, which isn't unlikely with Ch the rise of Chinese sellers on eBay, Alibaba, even Amazon. And because of the GT 1030 DDR4 models is any indicator then we can expect the AIBs to be as quiet as possible about the differentiator between the models. Not to mention something like this comes at a really odd time when their competitors are launching an actual new lineup of graphics cards. Despite what many are saying about the Turing lineup from Nvidia, it is at least a new lineup of cards and not skimming cores off the top and passing it off as the same card. Point being, What's good for the goose is good for the gander, I suppose. And this has been done before and will likely be done again in the future. That doesn't mean we have to like it, but we definitely wanted to make sure that our audience was aware that something like this is to keep an eye out for, just in case it ever creeps outside of that China market. Now this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.